Welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network. We are going to find out what Mega Man and Lan are thinking about after everything that just happened today. Yeah, what did Dr. Wily was telling them to go get some some super programs and telling the little, his crew or whatever. The peons were getting mad at that. Yeah, they got mad. They didn't get glad. Lan, I'm just about finished. Oh wait, why is he? No. Lan, I'm just about finished home page <laughs> He's <just> really excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I work and work and all you say is, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Roll. She came to my homepage. Who's Roll? Hiya, Mega. <laughs> hey, Roll. This is a letter from mail to Lan. Okay, got it. Later. Later, thanks. Oh, is that Males? I thought Males... No, wait, who's Male? Oh, Males the other girl. I was thinking of, uh... That other girl. Oh, Yai? Yai. <laughs> I'll, n I'll never remember her name. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll, I'll be this. Hey, Yai's birthday is coming up. Wanna come with me to buy a present? Meet in front of the Metroline station. Okay, write me back. What would Yai even want? Isn't she like a rich girl? Yeah, she's rich. There's really nothing we can buy. You can make her something. Uh, we could try, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Go ahead and write your mail. Land Road response. Oh, that's a that's definitely how I'm gonna start responding to emails. <laughs> that's a winner. I'll go give this a roll. You should just have his AI write the mail. That's what I would do. Yeah, basically. I mean, I totally well. write all of my mail in thought-felt letters. And resumes and application. New Dentown ACDC Metroline opens today. Oh, that was it. That was the news. That was the news. I hope you're all caught up. Dude, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? I have absolutely no idea what we're about to do. Yeah, I was going to say, obviously you don't know. But if you did know, you would know. And knowing's half the battle. <laughs> uh, please line up like the idiots you are. Yeah, triple kill. Oh, it's an S rank? Okay. Interesting. You got Shockwave C? Yeah, I don't want C. I don't want this weak little Shockwave. What we're gonna do... But C is the best programming language. Oh, I just realized I can't... Run away from battles because this is Mega Man Battle Network One, so I do have to fight. I st I still haven't started learning how to code yet. I did come across this one. It's funny how you come across these little YouTube videos that just try to like encourage you to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I came across one. He was like, "Stop trying to learn how to code and just code. Just do it. That's how you'll learn." I'm like, "Oh, okay, thanks, Mister Random Man on the Internet. Guess yeah. I'll do that." Um. Oh gosh, dang it! There, there's like there's like a common phrase coming up where it's like a people are calling them like knowledge seekers, and basically it's like these people who just accumulate as much knowledge as they can before they start something. But these people are so busy trying to accumulate knowledge on whatever subject they're planning to do or go into or whatever field or whatever. That they never actually start the project. And like oh, this, yeah. This ranges from anything. For it's like, oh, you're trying to set up, uh, I don't know, some kind of program. Or if you're trying to start out a workout routine. Or if you're trying to, you know, work on your car or something like that. And it's just like, uh, yeah, we're going to buy this. That was the last one. Okay. Yeah, I know my mom kind of gets like that sometimes. She, she, she's like aware of it and tries not to do that. Mm. But I guess sometimes she has a hard time with like... Just like actually getting started, just like tries to keep learning more about a subject before getting into it. Yeah, and it's like, uh, like I said, like the ads becoming a popular thing now is that uh, people just accumulating knowledge and stuff and looking up constantly, like, okay, well, you know, I I got this side of whatever project I'm working on. Let me hear a side from people who are like, uh, you know, against it or something like that. Just people just collect collect and collect and they never start yeah it is true like you will learn a lot by doing mm -hmm. um, that goes for anything like I think pretty much anything um, unless it's maybe like a fight for survival maybe 
Like yeah, it's a little bit different, but I think in most cases, you should just do the thing and learn by doing. Mm. Gosh dang it, I'm trying to run into someone. Gosh dang it, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. That boy ain't right. <laughs> I, I love those YouTube poops, man. That was like, that was YouTube's golden days. I, uh, I, I always like the really chaotic ones. Uh, <laughs> like like the, the Sonic cartoon ones. It's just absolute nonsense. It's like, you know what, I really just need to turn my brain off and <laughs> just let th things happen. <laughs> Was that like the Sonic Says stuff? No, that was like a... It, it, it has its own genre of YouTube poop. It's a uh, robotic... Nouns a verb. No, no, no. Robotic verbs a noun. Hmm. So, and like, I think there's actually one video called that, like, based on the on that format. Or it's just, it's just like... Focusing a lot on robotic and... <laughs> it's just... Nonsense constantly. Very fast paced. You have to send me that. Cause yeah, I I've I've never seen or heard of that. But uh Oh man, you missed out. There was a lot of there was uh I think King of the Hill stuff came later. I think like the origin of YouTube poop was a combination of Sonic, like Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and CDI Zelda and CDI Mario. Those are like, those those are like the, the foundation <laughs> that YouTube poop was built on. <laughs> Not Hank of the Hell. No, uh, Hank of the Hill was an evolution. <laughs> <laughs> an upgraded form. I, uh, I apparently they're still making the YouTube poops are still getting made today. Really? In I fact, imagine... yeah, YouTube started recommending them to me again. Huh. And I watched one today. Based on the Princess Bride. Was that a book? Uh, it's it might be a. Well, now that you say that, the the movie is a grandpa reading a book to a kid, and like oh. the events are like take place like. Uh, he reads the story, and then then it cuts to like. I don't know medieval times and. There's actors playing that out. Interesting. And it really made me nostalgic for The Princess Bride. I, I want to watch that again. Do you own it? No. Well, shoot. Well, maybe it's on Hulu. I don't know. Oh, streaming services. Can I look that up right now? Is, are people going to get mad if I, if I look up a movie while we're <laughs> <laughs> recording Mega Man? Oh my uh, god. I'd have to log in and everything. Screw it. I don't even know where my password is. Guess we'll never know. But if you had an AI, an AI would have that password handy for you. Actually, you know what? I could just straight up Google. I don't even need AI for that. <laughs> Princess Bright on Hulu. Where to stream and watch? Netflix? Uh. That's all I see. HBO Max, Disney Plus, Amazon, and Hulu. It's on Disney Plus? Uh, apparently. There's too many friggin' streaming services. Yeah. Hey, if you can't decide on a streaming service, you should just get YouTube Premium. Is that what it recommended to you? No, that's my recommendation to the viewers. Ah. Uh, I mean, that would definitely help us out if that would, that would. YouTube Premium viewers watching the videos. Yeah, that YouTube premium view is, is worth more than an ad view. Come on. Just saying. Dude, I'm just trying to run into you. It won't show up. Oh, man, I got hit. Is that a song? I'm just trying to run into you. <laughs> That'd be a very typical country song. Would it be? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess that did come out pretty country. <laughs> Do you remember that, uh... Sounds kind of stalkery. <laughs> I wish I could run into you. I want to hurry up and run into you. It's just I'm trying to run into a net, Navi, and he won't appear. I'm not just fighting these battles because I enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this because I enjoy it. Video games aren't fun. <laughs> Come on, I man. need things. 
just show up so I can. Is it like you. a rare? No, it's not really that rare. Is it just being a butt? That he is. Um, I remember back on the Game Boy Advance, my friend hacked it for me, so that I had nothing but those bash chips in my folder, and uh, it was pretty overpowered. But you also couldn't save because once you saved, it reverted like the hack. And there he is. So you just gotta beat the game in one go. <laughs> yeah, basically. Except I, except I, uh, uh, initially saved. This is what I wanted. Fireman three. Fireman F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fireman three F. Three and F. we're gonna replace Fireman one, because this is fifty more damage. That's a lot more damage. That's more than 50 less damage. Dude, that's like... Almost more than 50 damage. <laughs> almost more. <laughs> uh... F... H... C... C... We're gonna go C. You dodged the third one, you... Virus. But, uh, I forgot what I was gonna... What I was even saying. I forgot what you are gonna say, too. I forgot. <laughs> And I didn't remember. Dude, you forgot to remember. I forgot to remember. Always remember, never forget. <laughs> never forget to always remember. Because the day you do... The day you do, well, then you'll forget. And then where <laughs> will you be? You'll wish you heeded my advice, if you remember. <laughs> this is a whole, like, sermon. <laughs> I'll just host a sermon where I'm spouting nonsense. <laughs> that almost sounds like it makes sense. <laughs> that almost sounds like it's like... It almost sounds like it's a... Gosh dang, I can't... It's like one of, it's like one of those sentences where it's like grammatically put together, yeah. but logically has no, no content. No bearing or anything, yeah. Take that, you viruses. My new battle chip I just Why unlocked. do they call it an oven when you ev out eat the food? <laughs> that, I think that was the one that screwed me up the most. I had to reread that like 10 times. Like, what is this saying? <laughs> what possible logic? What possible logic? Yeah, it's nothing. I think my favorite... Wait, no. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't have anything like that. I don't want to can and see. I'm trying to explore the net here. Because there is someone I'm trying to run into. Because we've been neglecting that this whole time. And I neglecting what? Uh, running into people on the net. Like other net navvies? Yeah. And I wish to neglect it no longer. Well, you know what they say, colorless green ideas sleep furiously. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Furiously sleep ideas green colorless. Is that the same thing? Was that, that wasn't what you just said, was it? Well, to be honest, it was a cold and the little fish twisted and tumbled in the water. The birds were all quiet and the proud lions roared. <laughs> this is very <laughs> nonsensical. Oh, hang on, I found a generator. For nonsense? Lonely Henry makes people shiver. A river a thousand paces, white woke the Prime Minister. What? Pinocchio lay down on the riverbed. As he should. A cranky old lady slips on a banana- Okay, that one actually makes sense. A cranky old lady slips on a banana peel. You failed me, nonsense generator. That's just a <laughs> sentence. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> One mistake and we're out of here. Is this... Or is that the way I just came? F's in chat for the cranky old lady. You have who what? Who slipped oh, on the F's banana peel. Chat. Yeah. That's worse than the old lady who swallowed the fly. That's... And, and the old lady who lived in a shoe and beat her kids to death. What? Is that the story? Yeah, she didn't know what to do. An old lady who lived in a shoe who had so many kids she didn't know what to do. And then she beat them all to death. What the heck? Dude, that's yeah, dude, those old nursery that? rhymes. Those old nursery rhymes were for adults. And then they got adopted to be for children. To what? Scare the adults? <laughs> no, they were like, it was like satire. It was jokes. 
How is killing children satire? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was a different time. Oh. Um, you want me to find the full story? I yeah. I've never heard of this. No, because now I'm curious. Old lady lives in shoe, beats kids. I hope Google doesn't look for me. <laughs> Google's like you're on an FBI list now. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. Okay, she, she didn't kill them. She just whipped them. Huh. Or no, no, wait, maybe put them to bed. Maybe that's what that means. Oh, well, like put them in the grave. Put them in the grave. I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that's what that means. You got, you got to say it like that when you hear it like that. I, I guess that is true. I hadn't considered that. Yeah, what? what I don't know. I don't know what the the, what the old the old nursery rhymes were. I think the old lady who swallowed the fly should. What is the story of the old lady who swallows the fly? Uh. It was, you know, it was also pretty dark too, because it's like perhaps she'll die or something like that. And it's just like, how is this for babies? But it's like there, it was like there once was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Oh, you like, know what? I just remembered. Grim fairy tales. That's what those all those old tales were. Grim. Yeah, grim fairy tales. Hmm. And they were all stuff like that. Oh, like Disney movies too. Like Disney movies were like, oh yeah, they're dark, pretty stuff. messed up stuff. And then Disney's like, hey, let's make this for kids. Cinderella. That one I don't know about, but um, I heard that Peter Pan was actually like in the story was actually like a demon who would steal kids and then I didn't eat know them. That. You did know that? I did not know that. Oh. Yeah, Cinderella though. I, I that's like German for ash puddle. What? Yeah, I don't remember. The, I don't remember the the original story of Cinderella. Interesting. I think she dies <laughs> or something. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I, I I I think that's kind of the the theme here. S somebody dies. This is like <laughs> what happens in all of these. But yeah, Cinder. You know, cinder means fire, ash. Oh, I was thinking like cinder block. I, are cinder blocks meant for fire? I think they might be. Uh, I don't like know. Like a block meant for cinder. Cinder block. I mean, we don't use them that way anymore, I guess. I don't know if they ever did, but. I don't know. There are so many things I do not know. Oh, wait, Cinderella was Greek? What? That doesn't sound right. It does not sound like... right. I thought they were all German folklores. Uh... Yeah, no, it... it... originated in... What the heck? Greece, Egypt, and Italy. At the These same time. three different places. <laughs> you can't fool me, internet. F fool me once. <laughs> Shame on you. Fool me twice. Can't fool me again. <laughs> that rhymes. Does it? That was that was an old uh, uh, W. Bush quote. Like a rogue quote, or like one of those joke quotes. I don't know. I, he, I don't know. He was just on live TV, and he like he forgot the phrase like mid midway through, and that's what he came out with. <laughs> that's hilarious. Are you still looking for whoever- oh yeah, no, you got Fireman 3, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm on to the next net navy now. Who is who? Uh, it should be Number Man. Number Man? Oh, Sal. Oh, I got Sal. Thank you, Sal. Sal's a pal. Sal, yeah. I was thinking of Saul. My brain started trying to- Rhyme with Saul, and then it wasn't Saul. Well, Saul and Paul. <laughs> Saul Paul, man.
So now... You're going to end up 100%ing this game after you said you wouldn't. No, I'm definitely not going to 100% are, are you like are, are you that far away from having a complete set? Uh, no, I don't, I'm really far, but honestly, this game... Uh, Battle Network 1 is the only game to not have like a, a real... Wow, 2000s any a real post game compared to the other ones. Wait, no, don't buy anything. What will you buy? Yeah, I won't buy this. I don't even need this, but I'm buying it. Oh my gosh, dude. What the heck? Do you think wow. wood armor is effective in real life? Did anybody ever wear wood armor? I see that in games, like wood armor, and I see wood armor, I'm like, wood is heavy and not strong and flammable yeah and flammable you, you just sound like you're setting yourself up for failure <laughs> who is this oh it's dad hello father hello dad can i do this <laughs> hello dad <laughs> that's how land addresses his dad <laughs> hello dad <laughs> sometimes you just gotta talk to your dad yeah next time you see your dad just walk up and look, hello, dad. <laughs> what, what is wrong with you? What, what just happened? <laughs> oh no, my son. Oh no, my son. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, dad. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how I talk. <laughs> Lan and his dad are the most tech-savvy, but they have the most southern accents. They... I think it's a, they're the most tech-savvy, but they, their relationship is... On the rocks. Uh, um... Like, they, they don't know how to hold a, a relationship or a conversation. Gosh dang I'm, it. I'm saying they're, 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 they're tech-savvy and socially inept, that's, that's what I was, I was getting at. I accept that. Oh my gosh, um... Gosh dang it, I'm trying not to explore the net. I'm just trying to get what I need and Dude, get out. Dude, it happens to all of us. <laughs> you're just, you you're just, just on to... the net. <laughs> and it sucks you in. Sometimes you just you just start clicking on links. Clicking on videos and links and you're like, how did I get here? I went to um, look up one thing. <laughs> here I am, reading a docu- uh, reading a, a Wikipedia page about... Uh, granite. Speaking of, and this really has nothing to do with that, um, did I ever tell you when I was like in high school, I remember I was, uh, it was totally creepy. It was like a creepy pasta thing. Gosh dang it. Um, I was like doing something for a research paper and I had to look up Hitler. And I remember I, I downloaded a picture of Hitler and it corrupted the entire <laughs> PC. <laughs> really? It was, yeah, it was like, I kid you not, it looks something out of a creepypasta, man. And this was like back when computers obviously were still like, not really like, you know, necessary. They're still kind of like, oh, you need one, but you don't really live off one, kind of like you do now. So it wasn't too big a deal but it was just it was kind of hilarious how it was like the family's computer and stuff and i was just trying to finish this book report and i downloaded a random hitler image and it just like destroyed the entire house computer and just i like, couldn't that this certainly is, is a, a real life creepy pasta yeah have you ever been watching a video and then there's like there's like a pause in the video or like they stop talking for a sec and they're like showing you something and then your computer freezes and you're just sitting there, waiting <laughs> for the for the the narrative to move on. And you're like, huh, this is a really long pause. <laughs> but it never does. <laughs> yeah, then, you know, after about, you know, 30 seconds, you're like, what happened? And then you're like, oh, my computer froze. Or sometimes you just accidentally pause the video. Yeah, I can't ever say that's happened, but I mean, like... It's, it's happened to me on more than one occasion. This would this would be back probably on like Windows Vista more likely, mm. <clears throat> or even Windows Seven, where freezes were pretty common. Windows Mojave was a thing, right? What was? Windows Mojave. Wasn't that like a an unreleased Windows? All I remember is like there was like ads where it was just kind of like, oh, uh, don't you want to buy this? 
Don't you? Oh, dude, that's been happening to me on Windows 10 uh, lately. Fortunately, I found a setting I could just easily turn it off, but it's like, it's sort of getting like these pop ups. Like in the, in the corner of my screen, I'm like, uh, what is this? I did a virus scan. I'm like, okay, no, it's just Windows. <laughs> then it starts like, do it, give me like a game recommendation. It's like $8.99 for d Death Loop or something. I'm like, okay, this is, what, what is this? You gotta go. <laughs> you are no longer welcome here. <laughs> well, I got Stone Man, but I don't know why I didn't get Number Man. Number Man was the second boss. More like stoned, man. <laughs> like man, I'm funny. Snoop Dogg, man. <laughs> Snoop, Snoop, man. Oh, we're gonna do this. Actually, you know what? I want to get rid of that sonic wave. We're we're too powerful for a sonic wave. Too perfect. We are too. I can only have five. Oh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted the fire sword. Have you ever been, like, trying to get killed in a game, but you're too good, <laughs> and you can't? Uh, I feel like that has happened before. But, you know, it's always when you don't want it. Yeah, oh, dude. If we ever play D&D uh, &D online, I, I got a story to tell. Because my main character is, uh, well, apparently I'm just telling it now. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just give you the synopsis. My main character is a healer who has, like, passive heals, and uh, a buddy and me were doing a duoing a raid, and in the raid you can get encased and stuck and trapped, and it slowly does damage to you and kills you, except my heals are too strong. <laughs> and I couldn't die. <laughs> I was just stuck there, and then I logged out, and I logged back in, and I was encased outside in town, and it was like a permanent effect. Wow. And I couldn't get out. So what happened? It's, well, uh, so, uh... There's this item called Bracelet of Friends that can teleport somebody else to your location. So what he did was he went to this other public zone that has lava. And mm. he went above it, used the Bracelet of Friends on me to drop me in the pool of lava. Uh, so I could both drown and- so actually, it was mostly the drowning, because the drowning slowly does more damage. Um, so I drowned to death in lava. <laughs> like, it took a very long time for me to die, but... <laughs> it was like, that, that was the only way for me to get out of that situation. But it finally happened. If it wasn't for him, my character would probably still be encased. Interesting. I mean, unless I contacted a dev and I was like, uh, help. <laughs> what? What? You have to log out of the net for him to come back. Who, this guy? Yeah. Oh. Stone is that Stone Man? He doesn't look that, like a net navy to me. That is Stone Man. He just looks like a, a monster to me. Oh, I got jib, dude. I got. I don't want. Uh, I don't want Zenny. I wanted his battle chip. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, he is a net navy. He, he, uh, he doesn't have a net operator. Oh. Uh, I was just gonna log out, but is now that why that he looks different? Uh, yeah, all the other net navies have like human esque faces that mm. let them emote, and Rock Stone Man does not. Because it makes them feel good. All right, I'm going to get his battleship because I didn't know he'd spawn. Oh, come on, you miss, dude. Why do you suck? Come on, why do you suck at aiming? I can clearly see the- oh wait, no, those are definitely missing. He missed all three shots! <laughs> Good job, Stone Man. Forget you his battle chip. Forget his battle chip. Forget- is it just random where the, the rocks land? Yeah. But I it, don't like randomness in my attacks. But it should have been at least, like, somewhat you you Good. would have thought you, one would I hit? <laughs> yeah, at least one virus. It doesn't have to be all of them. It should be all of them. You know what it should have done? It should have hit all squares, but every square would be a random amount, like a, a random amount of damage. I could respect that. So like, even if it was a dud of like a little bit of damage, it's it still would have done something. Am I going in circles? 
What's going on here? I don't know. I'm this freaking. all looks like a maze to me. I am freaking out right now. Dude, the internet is a series of tubes. <laughs> the internet scares me. Uh, since we're lost, we're gonna end the episode here, and we will hopefully get unlost. We'll hopefully get unlost in the next episode. So join us next time to see if we get unlost. Yeah, we're gonna get get good and get unlost. <laughs>